Alrighty guys, what is going on? That is Joseph here back for another LEGO Star Wars video here today. And today guys are going to be talking about some comparisons between the LEGO Summer 2021 sets and their real life counterparts. Let's get right into the video, shall we? But before we get into today's video guys, I want to give a reminder that at 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away free LEGO Star Wars. I'm going to be giving away a free LEGO Star Wars Summer 2021 Slave 1 with Boba Fett and Beskar Mando. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is to be subscribed to my channel. Pretty easy, right? Want to double your chances as well to win? Follow me on Instagram at jhagman14. The link is in the bio. And DM me saying that you're in the giveaway. Getting into the first comparison for today's video here, we have the Imperial Marauder tank, in which I'm going to give LEGO a solid 8 out of 10. I think the tank does a good job of generally replicating what the tank that we see in Season 2 of The Mandalorian. You know, I think it does a good job of replicating that, but it's not perfect in my opinion. The tank could be a little bit bigger, a little bit, you know, XYZ, and a little bit of just improvements in detail, right? But overall, I think they do a good job of replicating that tank. Moving on to Moff Gideon's cruiser here, I'm also going to give LEGO an 8 out of 10. Overall, I think the back of the ship for the real-life model and the LEGO set are pretty similar. I think they did a good job with that. Just the front, you know, are a little bit different. I feel like the LEGO version is obviously a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller. I know it's kind of hard to make a much more, you know, UCS-style kind of long-styled ship in a playset, but still, it doesn't really matter. You know, the real-life version it just looks a little bit longer, a little bit different in terms of its proportions with the LEGO version. is a little bit more shorter and stubby. They do look good but overall lego gets an 8 out of 10 for this one for me next up here we have the slave one which gets a solid 10 out of 10 for me really no complaints here with this one i mean i know it was a scaled down you know 50 dollars slave one with a lot less pieces than past slave ones but this is perfect in my opinion i think they did a really good job i thought that maybe you know since it was scaled down it wasn't going to be as good but as far as the details and coloring and all that stuff goes this slave one is excellent Moving to the Bad Batch shuttle, I had to give it an 8 out of 10. It's good, but it's not great. I guess LEGO did get the coloring right here with kind of that bluish and red accents here on the ship. But overall, I think the ship is just not necessarily perfect in terms of its proportions. I feel like the midsection really is just kind of small. Uh, makes the cockpit look a lot more bigger and kind of weird looking when the midsection should be a lot bigger. Um, but the wings look fine, I guess. It's good, but it's not perfect, I guess. So 8 out of 10 here. Next up, we have the Mandalore dual set, which I'm also going to give an 8 out of 10. For me, this set really just scratches the surface and what it could have been. I mean, we get, like, Maul's, like, capture box, like, psychopath box thing there, which is neat. Then we get a little bit of, like, the throne and, like, the glass, but that's about it. I mean, I know it's a dual set, so it's really not supposed to be, you know, all that complicated, but they really could have done a little bit more. Maybe I had it in some parts of the hallway or the glass on the sides of the walls or whatever. Um, but, yeah, we just have, like, a very small throne and back window, which is pretty pathetic and not very significant so you know i do keep it at an 8 out of 10 because it's not supposed to be that complicated and it still gets its job done but it really could have been a lot more and for the final set for summer 2021 we have the mandalorian gauntlet fighter here this one was almost a perfect score um it gets a 9 out of 10 for me i think everything is pretty much alike and perfect between these two except that the mandalore gauntlet fighter cockpit can actually close all the way down there's like little gaps in it when you try to close down the cockpit window or whatever so uh yeah if it wasn't for that this would have been perfect but yeah still a good set and with that being said, that brings LEGO's Summer 2021 accuracy score, I guess you could say, to an 8.5 out of 10 for me. It's not bad, but I just feel like there's a little bit left like on the table for LEGO. They could have gone the extra mile or extra step, I guess you'd say, to make the sets a little bit better. But still, it's a good score. Alrighty, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. Please make sure to comment about how you guys felt about today's video, how you guys felt about those comparisons and all that good stuff. Make sure to like and subscribe, enter that giveaway, and I'll see you all next time, my friends.